So we've uh, carpet lined the inner panels that go in the windows. I'm trying to find them out how to mount these and then obviously making the Evo Motion Design furniture, you have these triangular kind of chocolate block things, but they're nicer than chop, chop block because they kind of go in and you've got a little cover. Nice and neat goes over those, so they look proper nice and tidy you now. On to the next one. So just scribed out this for the back of the B pillars and just fitting some L-shaped profile plastic so that when we wrap the carpet on it's going to come and go round the edge of the uh, existing B pillar. So I'm just profiling this along and how I've done that is literally where you've got corners just cut little nicks into the back side so you can bend the front and then you can profile it all the way along so you can see from the top that's profiling around and then just put little 12 mil screws through just to hold it and then we'll contact adhesive and carpet trim it that's just going to be trimmed off there now it's in place that should look all right once it's carpeted So we finally finished the uh, B pillar trims rather than paying extortionate some made some money for the Volkswagen ones, add some spare bits of ply from the bits of the kit that I wasn't going to use and we've trimmed it all. Here's the plastic edging to come around the corner, carpet trimmed it all the way up up to the curtain. Hole hides a lot of it, but it's nice to know that you haven't just got bare metal behind the same day. Yeah. Trimmed it all the way down into that bit. And this section here, I'm going to box in with some uh, furniture board and make like a little bit of a step. It'll come kind of along and into that little reveal there. So another job done. And we've also painted the Max fan surround in like a satin black to match the, the lights. So another one ticked so, over. On to building the upper overhead locker cabinets. We've got the base with the LED strip light and the profile edging on there. Just placed out the angled block connectors there. Just got to put the inserts in. I've done those four. As before, you've seen it on the other videos. So simple to put together, it stops everything from um, stripping out the wood. Pop that in there. We get that piece on, then we pop this piece on the end. That's the profile. Get that lined up. Profile piece. That goes in there. And then the cupboard doors go on. And there's four divides along there for the three separate um, compartments. So, cupboards are taking shape. We've got the stops in, whatever they're called, slam latch attached. It's got one of those in, and then oh, slam it. There we go, it slams. Shoots two on the slam latch in there. So, I'm not going to put the two outer doors on just to make it easier uh, when taking it into the van to mount it into the roof. So that'll be the next uh, step is getting it in the roof. We'll see that in a bit. So we have the shelving locker in. I'm just going to show you what we've done to mount it. 
just to help you guys if everyone's anyone's fitting these to a crafter. So the middle locker, right hand divide, lines up exactly with the rib. It's the second rib along from the B pillar. You've got one, two, and that one butts up against that there. So I've actually made an L-shaped bracket or Z-shaped bracket. It's got a slight little dog leg there because I didn't want to foul on this um, hinge for the door. So we've screwed into that cross beam and I will put a screw into that through into the wood just to hold it. And then on the backs, the L brackets that they supply you with, I've put two in each locker against the lower rib once you've got the void here but you've got metal either side of that and you've got metal from there down so two in each locker but what i've also done on this one that's right by that rib i've actually recessed the hole in and put a tech screw straight through and into that, that kind of um corner rib piece there i'm also where these other ribs are here I'm actually going to put a little bit of a packer in there because there is a, about another 15 mil gap there because of the, the roof lying. I'm going to put a packer at the back here. I'm going to go through there with a washer and into that rib. I'll do the same there. I'll put a packer at the back of that piece and I'll go up and through there into that rib as well. And I'll do the same here. I'll put a packer at the back and I'll go up through, through there with a washer and into that rib. So you've then got one, two, three vertical securing points. You've got one across that back bit there and you've also got six, two in each locker across there. But as you can see, that's it's not moving. It's not going anywhere. It's not got to support massive amounts of weight. You're not going to be, you know, sticking 20 tins of beans up there. It's mainly going to be, you know, boxes of cereals, maybe a few bits of clothes and stuff. But it's looking, uh, it's looking good. And then I will continue this uh, profile piece on this side and put another shelf, just an open shelf across to that back beam there. So there's like just an open shelf at the foot end of the bed. But we'll show you that when it's done. So, uh, as you may well be able to see behind, and a little sneak peek there, the van is nearly finished. So, uh, you've seen the kitchen unit go in, the overhead lockers, I've uh, yet to put the sink and an induction hob in and just finish off uh, boxing in the one rear wheel arch but next video will be a full tour of the van so i hope you're looking forward to that those that have been following the uh, the build so far um give a like and a thumbs up as usual please subscribe as well uh, i'll be moving on to the next chapter after this van is finished and it will be going up for sale uh, which will be then to uh, convert a van to a pizza van. As some of you may know, I did a little episode uh, break from the, the van build, which was to get the pizza trailer. Uh, the business is now um, going well. I need to expand for further bigger events. So I'll be converting a van to a pizza van. And I'll do a build series on that as well for anyone that's interested in um, food, food vans, street food, catering van, that kind of thing. So uh, again, thank you for watching, if you have been, and give it a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. Speak to you soon. What you doing?